The GG Shinobi, aka Shinobi on the Game Gear. Did you know Shinobi was on the Game Gear? I didn't know Shinobi was on the Game Gear growing up during its time. Uh, I've said it time and time again. Um, there were so many good games on the Game Gear, but, you know, I only knew a few kids, you know, in grade school on the playground that had a Game Gear. And, uh, like I said before, you know, maybe they owned Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and maybe they owned a sports game or two, but that was about it. And as I got older and started to collect and go back and look at the Game Gear, I realized in modern times that there's so many good games on the Game Gear. The Disney games, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, you know, Streets of Rage, you know, Rystar, Dynamite Heady and games like this one, the GG Shinobi. This is not a port of the Master System version of Shinobi. This is its own unique game that was made just for the Game Gear, and it is amazing. This game has a lot in common with, say, Mega Man, in that you can pick what level you want to start with, and each level that you beat, you unlock a new ninja, and each ninja has its own special abilities. So there's a yellow ninja, he can throw shurikens and he can walk on water. Um, there's a pink ninja that can throw bombs and walk on the ceiling. Uh, there's a blue ninja, what does he do? He can, I think he has a grappling hook? point is, these different ninjas have different abilities, and these different abilities are going to help you get through certain levels easier. So just like in Mega Man, you can go through the levels in any order that you want, but going through them in a certain order and knowing what ninjas are going to unlock that you want to use in the next level is going to help make it easier. The graphics and gameplay in this game are excellent, top-notch graphics, the controls are responsive, um, nothing feels slow or laggy, and the music is amazing. The music is done by Yuzo Koshiro, um, most notably the guy that did the music in Streets of Rage. And so if anyone can get good music out of Sega hardware, it's definitely this guy. Um, I've said it time and time again, the Sega you know, Game Gear or Master System, uh, for that matter, um, doesn't have the most amazing sound chip in it. <laughs> it's always going to sound kind of, you know, high-pitched beepity boopity It doesn't have the FM synthesis that the Genesis had in it. Um, but uh, nonetheless, this guy, you know, he can usually get good music out of the Game Gear. And uh, while technically it might not sound amazing, it's got an awesome melody. It's got good rhythm. It's music that sticks in your head. Minor complaint in this game, sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. Um, I know that's partially an issue with the Game Gear. It's a low resolution screen. Your play field is going to always be heavily cropped. You're not going to be able to see a lot of the play field at once. But there's definitely times in this game where you can't see what's below you. And you're not really sure if you're supposed to go down there or not. The levels aren't super linear. Um, sometimes I didn't know where to go in the levels. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. The levels aren't very big, so that kind of makes them feel bigger. And it adds a little bit of, you know, replay value to the game. Um, you know, figuring out where to go the first time you're playing it versus knowing where to go 
the second time that you play it or the third time that you play it so it's not a bad thing it's just sometimes you don't know where to go and the fact that the screen is so heavily cropped means that sometimes you're gonna have to take a, a leap of faith and sometimes you might die <laughs> sometimes it might have it might have been what you were supposed to do you're just not really sure so minor complaint there but otherwise like I said the gameplay is excellent the premise is excellent the music is awesome uh, and this is a bespoke game. Like I said, this is not a port of the Master System version game of Shinobi. This is its own version of Shinobi made for the Game Gear. And that is awesome. Like I said, so many good games for the Game Gear. Some of them I've shown. You know, games like um, Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Or uh, that Vampire uh, Into the Darkness game. And yeah, those were Master System ports, but they're excellent ports, and they make excellent handheld games. And you know, some of the games like Ristar too, that are like Genesis ports, but they're different enough, you know, that it can kind of be its own unique game. And there's so many, there's so many games like that on the Game Gear. I've always, um, you know, I've always said it: the Game Gear is underrated, in my opinion. And um, I, I've you know, admitted it before. I, again, growing up, I didn't know about any of these games, you know? Like most people, you think, oh, it's just Sonic the Hedgehog and some sports games. <laughs> but there's so much more to the Game Gear than that. And, yeah, this is just one of those games. Um, this is an excellent game on the Game Gear that was made for the Game Gear. And, uh, like I said, I didn't know that this existed until recent times. And not only does this game exist, but like I said, there is also a Shinobi 2 on the Game Gear. So maybe one day we'll check that one out. But for now, here's Shinobi on the Game Gear. The GG Shinobi. So what do you guys think of Shinobi on Game Gear? The GG Shinobi. <laughs> what a weird name. That seems to be a Japanese thing. I think there's a couple of Game Gear games that I've seen before where the Japanese version was called like the GG something or G GG something or other. Uh, kind of like, you know, having 64 on the end of a name for a Nintendo 64 game. You know it's the Nintendo 64 version. Well, this is the GG Shinobi, so you know it's the Game Gear version. Uh, like I said, in North America, it was just called Shinobi. Uh, but uh, it is kind of neat when they would say the, the GG Shinobi, uh, maybe to kind of, uh, you know, point out the fact that this is a unique Shinobi game for the Game Gear. It's not just the Master System version that's been ported over. And, uh, yeah, this is such a great game. It's, wow, what a pleasant, what a pleasant surprise this was. Um, I first saw this game about a year ago, a couple of years ago probably now, when, um, Sega Lord X probably was one of the first people that I saw showing this game off. And, um, you know, again, for me, it was just another one of these Game Gear games that I didn't know existed back in the day but turns out to be a really good game. And like I've said, there's so many games like that. There's so many games that I've shown that really just show the Game Gear had a lot of good games and in my opinion is underrated. 
What do you guys think? Was the Game Gear underrated? But anyways, yeah, I mean, honestly, this is a really good game. It plays well, like I said, there's no slowdown. The controls feel responsive, the graphics are good, the music is amazing. <laughs> what more do you want? This is an excellent game for the Game Gear. It's an excellent game on the Game Gear. It's another damn good game for the Game Gear. See you guys later.